Hi, my name is Roberta Bella from Equinitix and welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, I will show you an example of data mining using Equinitix Blind SQL Injection Tool. The process starts with detecting an SQL injection using a scanning profile based on the new AccuSensor technology. We start the scan by selecting the web scanner from the Tools Explorer and launching a scan against a test website, which is specified in the Start URL input field. We select also the scanning profile, in this case a profile which utilizes the AccuSensor and SQL injection tests. Click on the Start button to launch the scan against the test website. We can confirm that the AccuSensor technology is enabled and being used from the scan information page. Once the scan is finished, we can expand the SQL injection node reported under the Alerts node and switch pages are vulnerable with an SQL injection. Select the page and expand to see a list of SQL injections found in that particular page. Expand again and select the variants you would like to know more details about. We can now see the detailed information about the vulnerable MySQL query. Note that such amount of detail is only available when using the AccuSensor technology and it is not possible to have such details on a vulnerability when using a typical black box scanner. Right click the variant and select export to blind SQL injector to export the base request automatically to the blind SQL injection tool interface so further testing can take place. In the blind SQL injection tool interface we can see our base request which will be sent to the web server. With this request we will inject custom SQL query in the web application. The highlighted token represents the injection point. Click start to send the request to the web server and start the database mining process. Because the injection was validated in a fully automated way, we already have some information about our target and Equinetics is ready to extract data from the SQL server. Once the process is ready, click on the Get Databases button in the top menu and the list of databases which the user used for the query has access to will be extracted. If you right click a database, you can select Get Tables from the menu and the application will extract a list of tables in the selected database. You can also extract the columns of the selected table. To do so, right click the table and select Get Columns from the menu. This will retrieve the names and types of the columns. You can also extract the data stored in a table by right clicking the table and select Get Tables Data from the menu. As we can see, the data in the table is being extracted. Once the data is extracted, you can export it to a CSV file. Right click somewhere in the window pane and select Export Data. Select a location where the file should be saved and specify a file name. The database structure can also be exported to an XML file for further study. To do so, right click a database and select export the structure to file from the menu. As before, set a location where the file should be saved and specify a file name. Once ready, you can save the SQL injection request as well in case you might need to work on it another time or make further testing in the future. To save the query, click on the Save button in the top menu, select the location and file name and click Save.